Okay. All right, here we go. Super Tyler and Super Dell. Going up over Mount Timpanogos is the plan. Flying up over the mountain. Let's do it. Get some soaring going on. He's on the 1X again. And I am on the Dominator, extra, extra small. So I got a 2X. He's got a 1X Dominator. Here we go. going to fly around inside of that lift. So I feel myself going up pretty good, so I'm going to just circle in that lift. And then I feel for my outside wingtip that would start falling out of the lift. And as I feel that outside wingtip falling off, I'll turn a little sharper into it. Just flying along the mountain. Basically trying to find some ridge lift. Oh, or a thermal like that. There is a big thermal. There we go. That's a good one. So I count to three. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. And I make my turn. I'm at idle. So I'm at idle right now. So now I got enough lift. Doesn't look like I'm going up, but I'm sort of maintaining here. So I'll kind of wait for Tyler to show up. Are you gonna come back this way? at the top. Get above the ridge. That's crazy. I don't know how he uh, stays warm. I'm in a jacket. He's in a t-shirt. <laughs> extra, extra small. Right up over 12,000 foot. No problem. Dominator, baby! But if you want to go corn thermals and climbing up over mountains in the middle of the day, you better have super training. <laughs> It is not for the average Joe Blow who got chucked in the air. There are very specific skills that we need to build in, and it starts right from day one at super training. 
And if you don't have those skills, you don't have the ability to properly keep your, light, your glider loaded. So you literally don't have the ability to prevent a collapse if you don't have the proper skills. And those same skills it takes to walk up the side of a trailer, that's exactly the same skill it takes to keep your glider from collapsing. If you're standing on a pole and you start falling backwards off that pole, well, you feel yourself falling, you add brakes. And in the air, if the glider surges forwards and I feel that loss of pressure, same thing. Bam, I hit the brakes. So the feel and the reflexes and what you're doing is exactly the same. So if you get proper training, you're learning those skills, but nobody else actually teaches those skills. You know, try and find any other school in the world where they're having the students kite on a post. You just don't see it because not even their instructor can do it. There's only not too many people in the world who can actually do that. There are some, but generally those who can, they, they took 15 to 20 years to learn it, where at super training, you could learn it in 10 days or maybe come back through a couple times, 20 days of training. So you're, you're getting a lifetime of experience and practice into 10 days of super training and learning all those little critical pieces right up front instead of having to risk your life trying to learn them the hard way and taking forever to do it. So super training is the only way, or really it's the only school teaching true and real skills. Plus it's the funnest trip you'll ever take. It's a total blast. I go every time and it, I still, it's just like a vacation. It is just the funnest thing you'll ever do. Just a bunch of guys going out, having a blast, goofing off at the beach all day with all the best gear in the world. Ooh, yeah. Foot drag to landing and run it out. Booyah! Ha ha! Dope. You always get a line on the GoPro. Too fun, man! We just flew up over the top of the mountain! Ha ha ha! Tyler stayed to play a little bit longer. Should be here in a minute.